guys, welcome back to the course. So in this lecture, we're gonna talk about iOS versus Android. How do you pick which platform to focus on and how do you pick where you wanna direct your marketing strategy towards? Now, I'm sure you guys have a general idea of what iOS is like, who uses it, um, and how it feels like, and I'm sure you have a, also a similar understanding of Android. Now, there's reasons why people choose to use one or the other as a consumer, and there's reasons why mobile app studios choose them as well. Those are two different decisions, and the logic for each is a little bit different. I'm gonna explain both to you. Now, first, let me dispel any notions that we're gonna be talking about the other platforms, the Windows Phone and the BlackBerry. And the reason why we don't really talk about these is because in general, it's not really worth spending your time on them. Between iOS and Android, that actually covers 97% of the smartphone market. So 3% um, is divvied up between Android and Windows Phone. While it's nice to have a specialization strategy, it doesn't really make sense to have a strategy that's based off of something that caters to 3% of the market. That's just too small um, and you're leaving way too much money out there. So let's get back to the main topic, which is how do you pick between iOS and Android? Now, first off, let me tell you that in my experience, for every one person that came to me and said, hey, I have an idea for an Android app, I had about nine people who came to me who said, I have an idea for an iOS app. Now, to understand why there's such a skew in that, you have to understand kind of the rationale that companies use when they pick their go mobile strategy. So when a company goes mobile, they're typically gonna focus on whatever platform is gonna put them in the best position to make money and look good. So with that being said, iOS is pretty much the favorite. Now, the first reason why iOS is so much more popular with companies is the demographics. The people who generally use iOS live in United States and Europe in, in developed countries, and they're typically in the middle income or upper middle income bracket. Those people typically have disposable income and they're willing to spend it. So more profitable customers are on iOS. And the second biggest reason is branding. Now with branding, there's a couple things going on here. In general, companies that want to control how the user feels when they use their application and want to control the user experience are going to pick a platform that they can control. iOS has 20 different mobile screen sizes. While that might sound like a lot, Android has well over 200. Now, what does that mean for branding? Well, if I'm building an application and I want to have a consistent uh, experience across the board in my application, depending on who's using it, I'm generally gonna pick the one that's less fragmented. Now, imagine you're making an application and you want this screen to be this size and you want this button to look like this and you want, after I click this, go to this section. And you don't want anything to look off and you want it to all fit seamlessly. Well, if you're building that for Android, there's over 200 different screen resolutions. So how are you gonna do that? Typically what people will do is that they'll build for five or six main screen resolutions and just hope that it fits roughly well with the rest of them. But it's always the case that people out there, if they have a less common screen resolution are gonna see your app in a different way. So that's one element of branding. You can't really control the Android experience with iOS. You know more what you're getting yourself into. The other thing is how your app is presented. Now, if you've used iOS, and you, you, I'm sure you have, um, you've probably been to the App Store. The App Store, if you haven't noticed, it's centralized. That's one of the biggest features of it. If you wanna download something on iOS, you have to go to the App Store. That's the only place you can get it. On the App Store, displays all the apps, all the information in a standardized and easy to understand way. 